Hi there, my name is Jana and I'm a member of the Data Schools 29 cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure multi-role calculation in Tableau Prep. Multi-role calculation lets you compute value between multiple rows of data in your flow. Starting in Tableau Prep version 2023.2, we can now use it while preparing your data. So let's jump right into Tableau Prep and get started. For this example, I'll be using Superstore flow from the pre-built sample flows on the start page. Now, if we click aggregation step called roll up sales, we can see that data grouped by region and year of order date. I'd like to add the month number along with this existing years. So let's drag the order date to the group field. Click option menu, select convert dates month number. Tableau Prep currently supports three types of multi-role calculation. Difference from, which is computes the difference between the current row value and another value. Percent difference from, computes the difference between the current row value and another value as a percentage. And moving calculations, which returns the sum or average of a numeric field within a flexible set of rows. So let's start with calculating the difference in sales per region and months of the year from the prior months. Click plus after the aggregation step to add new cleaning step and rename it to difference from. Then select sales field, click three dots Create calculated field and difference from. That will bring a configuration window with a handy interface that aims to help configure multi-role calculation easier and faster. In the left pane, double click in field header and enter the name of the calculation. In the middle section, you have several options to configure the calculation. Group by, order by, compute using, and difference from. Group by. This will group the calculation by selected field. By default, it's going to group by full table. So let's add the region in our group by. Order by field will order the data within the group, in our case by year and month. Compute using, there is a field used for calculation, in our case sales, but it could be easier to switch to another measure. And difference from, there is our calculation by itself. By default, it's set up to show the previous value and for the one previous row. You can increase the number of rows to calculate your result. For example, select previous value, which is already selected, and increase number by two to calculate difference between the current value and the value two rows before that value. Let's back up again to one. In blue, highlighted annotation that help you understand how the calculation has been created. We can see that for the previous value formula is B minus A, where the B is the row number two and A row number one. You can also change the number of previous or next values depending on the type of calculation you're using. Now if we switch to the next value, we can see that the calculation is the same, B minus A, but now row A, there is a row number two, and row B, the first row. On the left, you will see a visual summary of the calculation outcome. Configuration for the percent difference calculation is pretty much similar while moving calculation configuration is slightly different. So let's walk through it. Click done, and then we can create a new clean step or add a new calculation over here. 
So let's repeat already familiar for us steps. Select sales, more options, create calculated field, moving calculation. Rename our calculation to moving average. Group by region, order by year and months. Compute using sales. And now we can see the results section, which is absolutely different. You can select the aggregation you want to perform, sum or average from this section. I'm going to select average. And then it's allowed you to set up the number of rows to include in the calculation and whether to include the current row or exclude it. We want to create a moving average across the three months. By three months, I mean the previous two months and the current one. So I will increase the number of previous value by two. This drop-down option allows you to configure how many rows to look back or forward in the calculation. This option includes the current row by default. So if you set it to look back one row, it will include the current row and the previous row in the calculation. If you no longer need current row, just tick exclude current row. To edit multi-row calculation, go to the change pane and click Edit to open the Visual Calculation Editor to make any changes. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in configuring and using Tableau Prep multi-row calculation. Please check the description of this video for links to additional material that you might find useful. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love the related how-to videos we've suggested by my fellow data schoolers. Click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch it next. Subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos.